going on world and he did here with you about to do another video actually this video right here probably do more like a vlog you know about to run some errands so bring you guys along chop it up talk about a few things so we in like the middle of february and still as you know it's still warm where i'm at we in the northeast and right now today is about high 40s low 50s Usually around this time of year, we usually be like what, 30s, low 30s, high 20s, teens and stuff like that. Right now it's warm out, but I can't complain. Gotta even crack the windows, feel like it's like a fall type early spring weather, something like that, but gotta do the best of it. So speaking of that, we see the climate changing, weather changing, we see that um, just had some incident with a, a balloon up in the air, up in the, well, not even in space, but uh, up in the airspace and uh, going across the airspace to the US from the big C country on the other side. So let's take a ride with me, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we'll talk some current events, some stuff that's going in the economy and the world. Um, not gonna do too much on like entertainment current event because we get distracted by that instead of paying attention to what's really going on especially things like world economical forum meetings from them meetings from the uh what's that uh fdic meetings from the fdic meetings from the federal reserve banks um those those meetings that's making the un and a few other places, you know, that we have in me is that's really gonna dictate how we move in this economy and what things are looking like. So I'm stopping by the gas station right now. I did before. See them prices back then? Premium 399 plus 379. The gas prices going back up in the summertime. Yeah. But like the video that I did before, you can check it out on how I'll be saving on gas. Matter of fact, I'm just going to grow, grab something because I'm not going to fill up yet because I think a little bit above a quarter, quarter tank. And from the last time I filled up so far, I got about 200 and, 210 miles out of three-fourths gallon of gas. Not three-fourths, three-fourths tank of gas. So I'm gonna see how much longer I can go before I fill up. I'm about to go run up in here, grab some snacks and things real quick. So hold on. Beautiful day out. Beautiful day out, man. It's the middle of winter in New England. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, so man, we gotta pay attention, like we were saying. Gotta pay attention to those meetings. They, they give them gems and jewels on what the world's coming, especially like the, the, what is it? World Economic Forum, the, the Davos. They just had their meeting um, not too long ago. Well, they talking about 2030 and what they want to see come forth for the year 2030 and the plans they got for 2030 is going to be a whole whole nother ball game ladies and gentlemen I'm telling y'all so you got to pay attention to that got to watch the monetary system monetary system is going to be switching up especially with these interest rates going up we're going to see the monetary switch up the system probably switch up in the next i say next four to five months by the time we see the the third quarter, not the fiscal year, but the third quarter annual year, we're gonna see some some changes. So, like some people out there saying, like this might be like you know, how it was in the twenties and stuff like that, when the, the crash of twenty nine and the Great Depression and all that. We got some analysts are saying that it might be like that. Some economists are saying that it's gonna be like how nineteen twenty nine was. And, probably even worse and then you've got some just saying that's gonna be just a soft recession so we're gonna see hard times like how it was back in um what was that like 08 09 08 to like 010 then we seen something else in um what was that like 2018 2018 2019 remember um remember when the, the 
government had shut down for like what it was like a month or something like that. It was like 2018 or 2019. Which um, year? I remember the government shut down for some few weeks, and uh, people was hit. Um, a lot of people that was employed by the government weren't getting paid and things like that. A lot of, a lot of programs had to slow down, had to put pause and things like that. But if y'all remember what what year and, and what caused that and what topic, I don't remember right now. Put it in the comments. Let me talk about that because a lot of people don't even remember that about that because I was having a discussion with some people and we actually didn't remember who the whole breakdown was. But it was either 2018 or 2019. I want to say 20. some more research i'm gonna do some more research and fill y'all into that one that information right there but if you got it put it in the comment but let's continue this drive real quick let me show y'all let me show y'all where i'm at real quick uh, that right there that right there so that's ladies and gentlemen crazy times but we got to deal with what we got to do and just got to keep focus keep focus so just doing a quick running around errands quick tour quick drive around Hartford you know um running some errands paying some bills looking at some things and you know some regular errands and I just chill out for the day. Not really too chill out. Get some working on a project. About to, you know, continue to work on these projects that I'm working on. Projects to get, you know, me and other people situated for the future and what's going on in the future. And um, especially my ears and stuff like that. And even just started working on, like, developing trust fund. Putting a trust fund in order for my heirs and for my beneficiaries, and also setting up like life insurance, um, not pref not term, preferably either a um, IUL life insurance, index universal life insurance, or a whole life insurance. You can also have a term that's you know terms is usually more affordable, but you want to go with an IUL, especially like stack up as much money as possible and fund your IUL, front load your IUL with that, and then you be able to even borrow against your IUL life insurance and just a wide variety of things. So right now that's the aim, working on some projects to get up a, a strong, good amount of money to front load the IUL and then use that tool as a um, monetary tool in order to like, you know, gather more assets for you. Let me show y'all this real quick. It's a nice spot, a favorite spot of people. By the river, you come down, you chill out. You can see it down here. You gotta drive down here in order to get to it. And you get a view of the city and stuff like that. Nice little chill out, especially when it's nice out. But um, y'all probably see me walking around down here before some other videos. Yeah, but just wanna show it real quick. It's real peaceful down here. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's a nice spot right there. Sometimes the family, me and the family go there or we just go there and go for a long walk, walk across the bridge and things come back. Sometimes they have events down here, probably get something to eat, just good, you know, enjoy life the best the way we can. But um, going back to that stuff, man, we got to start paying attention because 2023, the middle of 2023, like we said early in this video, we see gas price going up, interest rates going up, the Fed just raises, they hike 25 basis point, and they're looking toward doing um, a few more 25 basis point hike, probably in March, and I believe uh, probably May. So look out for that. Definitely watch how things is going in the economy. Stay focused. Continue to be great, and Once again, it's NZD. Hope you got some value out of this. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. 